One of the things that I've been talking to you guys about since the very beginning has been density. I told you it's about how tightly the molecules are packed together. So I have three different cups of water. The red is hot, the blue is cold, and the yellow is actually salt water, okay? As you saw earlier, I just poured room temperature water in here, okay? So remember when I did the paper dots Friday and the dots were moving around in a circle, the ones that didn't get stuck anyway? They were moving around in a circle. I told you that in the mantle, the molten rock is what, uh, it goes in a circle, circular motion because of something called convection currents. Remember, convection currents moves in a circular motion. Heat rises, cold sinks, okay? So, room temperature water, remember what I said, heat rises, cold sinks. So I'm gonna start off with the yellow salt water. Do you think it's going to mix with the water, float on top, or go down to the bottom? So now, if you think the salt water is going to mix together with the room temperature water, raise your hand. If you think the salt water is going to go below the room temperature water, raise your hand. If you think it's going to go above the room temperature water, raise your hand. All right, so we're gonna to have to look at it from the side to make sure you can actually see it. Where did it go? Down. It went down to the bottom. So that means that salt water is more dense than regular water. Both of them are room temperature. The only difference is the yellow one has salt. So the salt water is more dense than the regular room temperature water. So the next one I'm gonna pour in is the blue one. This is cold water, no salt. If you think it's gonna mix, raise your hand. If you think it's gonna go to the top, raise your hand. Float, raise your hand. If you think it's gonna go to the bottom, raise your hand. All right, now, those of you who think it's gonna to go to the bottom, is it going to go underneath the yellow or on top of the yellow? Underneath the yellow. All right, let's find out. Keep watching. Keep watching. It's in the middle. It's in the middle. So you have the yellow that's on the very bottom. You have the blue water, which is in the middle, and you still have that room temperature water on top. So cold water is more dense than room temperature water. So the most dense water so far was the salt water and then the cold water. So now what about the hot water? If you think it's going to mix, raise your hand. Y'all still think it's going to mix, huh? Okay. If you think it's going to sink, raise your hand. If it's going to go to the top, raise your hand. So where is it going? At the top. Remember what I told you when I had the paper dots. Once the dots got near the heat source, it made the dots less dense, so it rise. And then when it got to the top, because there was no heat source, it was cold, so it sank. So the hot water is less dense than the cold water, room temperature water, and the salt water. So density not only deals with how tightly the molecules are packed together, but it also deals with temperature. Temperature also affects density.